Hi, I'm Sarah Moskowitz. I'm a certified child passenger safety technician in Providence, Rhode Island. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Graco Extend to Fit convertible car seat forward facing with the seatbelt. I do want to clarify that there are so many Extend to Fit models out there. Some of them do have different rules than the others. So I will try to print on the screen if you have another model that what rules will apply to your model. But it's very important to check your user manual. Something like this probably has a cover. <laughs> Um, we're going to be following everything with orange guides for forward facing. So if you notice the side of the seat, we have a belt path right here with orange signage on it. To identify your model, first you can check over here on the stitching, um, which would be under the child's left leg. This is a standard extent fit model. The other thing you would check is your manual or <laughs> on this inner bar is a white sticker that has your model name as well as the data manufacturer, and that's how you determine when the seat expires. So, forward-facing installation. What do you have to know? The seat forward faces up to 65 pounds or 49 inches, whichever one the child reaches first. The minimum to forward face in the seat per the manual is 22 pounds, but the seat does rear face until 50 pounds. So I highly recommend rear facing until 50 pounds, if possible. You might be familiar with a foot panel which gives the child extra leg room while rear facing. You cannot use the foot panel while forward facing, so make sure that's put away. On the standard extent of fit, to install forward facing for a child under 40 pounds, you must use recline level four. So to adjust the recline on the seat, you're gonna look at the bottom of the seat and squeeze this lever, lever and There we go. Okay, so this is what recline four looks like for a forward facing seat. This might be a reason for you to consider rear facing until 50 pounds. So I'm gonna click this up to level six, recline level six, which is acceptable for a child over 40 pounds on this model. You're gonna wanna make sure that the crotch strap is on the outermost slot, both in the seat cover as well as the actual physical seat. Make sure your cup holders are installed, those are required. Now the top tether anchor is located up here. And you're gonna pull that out and extend the strap. Now put that over the front of the seat for now. I'm gonna leave my cover a little bit loose like this so that I can get to the belt pads easily for installing and then we can fix it later. So I'm on recline six which is acceptable for a child over 40 pounds. I'm going to take my seatbelt and guide it through this forward facing path right here, which is located behind the child's back when forward facing. I'm going to buckle the seatbelt. Now, lift that up for a minute so I can get in here. To lock my seatbelt, I'm going to pull it out of the car all the way until it won't let you pull anymore and you hear a ratcheting sound when it goes back in. That means your seatbelt is locked. Some vehicles have other methods for locking your seats. Please check your vehicle manual or email me if you're not sure. Now, in the belt path, I'm going to pull up on the shoulder belt and push down on the seat at the same time. Feed the shoulder belt back into their tractor. And you want to get all the slack out. And then you're going to test for movement at the belt path right here to make sure that he doesn't move more than one inch side to side or front to back. So I'm not moving that way, I'm not moving this way. Fantastic. Now you're going to take the top tether and you're going to attach it to the anchor, which should be behind your seat. You're going to look for the little tether location pull the top tether tight. Sometimes it's difficult when it's such a short distance. Okay, now I'm gonna replace the cover. I won't do that on camera, but there are lots of little loops and stuff to put back on. For facing children, the harness should be at or above their shoulders. So very easy while this is installed, you just have to squeeze that lever at the top of the seat, up and down. Um, you can tighten the seat by pulling on the tail. Loosen it by pressing the release button. 
And that is a four facing installation. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Um, I really do appreciate hearing from you guys and drive safe.